Hi everyone, today we are here with Nat from here and Holly from All the Stories. Hi guys. And <laughs> we are gonna break down the extra type of expenses that you can imagine you will have here in Bali. So we already did another video here, which was about the type of expense that you normally have to spend, but this one is more related to the extra expenses that sometimes no one really told you about. So if you're ready, let's go. So now we're gonna talk about gym. And you might ask yourself, why wasn't this part of the previous one? Well, it's for everyone, it's not necessary. When it comes to the gym, it is about 1.5 million for a lot of the Western gyms or the well-equipped gyms with AC that I've experienced here, both in Changu and Ubud. So I've been doing some uh, Muay Thai and some Jiu Jitsu and it's also around the same price and also places like Avenue Fitness which has uh, the th stuff like sauna, ice bath, uh, all the, the things that you would require from for a modern gym and everything so yeah. In my case I don't really do a gym, I'm trying to save money on the side and I can't really feel myself put the commitment of going to a gym so I just work out a lot in my room and so far I find myself very good. I go to F45, it costs me 1.3 million a month mm -hmm. and also I have uh, Australian football practice for Indonesian it's free for Indonesian player but as I know for foreign player it's 2.5 million for a year for the membership yeah and then I also sometimes do yoga just walk in for me it's 100k per class but I think for foreigners it's 140 but like foreigner who has kitas it another cheaper price but I forgot like 120 or 110 I think so let's say that usually for locals you can always find discount here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah. Well, yeah. That's great. So I think for most gyms here, uh, on a day by day basis, uh, if you want to do a drop in, it's normally around two hundred thousand Indonesian rupiah. That's in from my experience. The second point we're gonna talk about are massages. I love massages so much and uh, I'm really happy that here they're super, super cheap compared to Europe. In my case, I always go for 100K massages, which is usually the average, the cheap average that they have here, 100K massages. I even had a lady that she do for one hour massage 60K, mm. but uh, from what I've heard, now it's 60K because she come at your, at your place, so it's 60k plus um, the delivery, the delivery of the lady. Transport. Transport. Yeah, so for me, yeah, I love massages here, they're really, really great. My massage lady is 100k, she, she, for an hour he come to my place, yeah. Mm. And then you can also go to some spa place, like it's 200 something for an hour. Like mm. Amo Spa, and then you can also use their jacuzzi and so on and thing for mm. 200k for the okay. walk in, I think. Yeah, so I think uh, for me, uh, I've tried a few different ones. I find that the average uh, of the ones that I've spent has been around 100,000 100, Indonesian rupiah, but most of the time now recently I've been using the I, probably the same one, the 60,000 Indonesian <laughs> one. I've been doing that like once or twice per week. So compared to massages back home, it's so worth it, guys. Yeah, Just yeah. get into the habit. And uh, if you're exercising and wor working out a lot, it's going to be so worth it. <laughs> Your body is going to thank you. So since there are so many bitches, bitches <laughs> in Bali, you should try to go to surfing. The cost here in Changu for one surfing lesson is 350k and if you want just to uh, borrow the, or the, if you just want to rent the, bo the boat, yeah, the, the, the board, <laughs> the boat, yeah. the surfboard is only 50k but I also take a lesson in Kuta, it's only 150k. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. uh, board included. Yeah, board oh. included. So I found some places that you can get good like packaged deals if you really want to do it and commit to it. But I think maybe if you're like me, like not not sure about it, and you just want to try it, like one time, then I would try that first to see if that is something you want to commit to. I heard that outside Indonesia, cigarette pack is so expensive. 
but here it's pretty cheap uh, for my cigarette it's 30k per pack but some cigarette is like below 20k like only 18k like but like for Marlboro mm. I think it's 35 or 37 yeah like yeah. import yeah. import price like in Europe is something like 8 euro Whoa. and here is like compares like only 2 euro here for cigarette is something like wow mind-blowing compared to Western prices for sure yeah and compared to Norway where I'm from it's like some places like 14 euros yeah. Yeah. for one pack so yeah you can imagine how much you could travel and how many experiences you could have for that no price. Way. So, yeah, I it's very different. Like smoke this only once a month if I was in Norway. Yeah. <laughs> the next topic we're gonna talk about is uh, coconut and water. So most of the time in the guest house they give you free bottle of filler with water, uh, purified water, but not always. In my case, I always buy a 20 liter gallons for 18k, which lasts me one week which is great so I don't have uh, to buy plastic bottle every day so it's kind of good for the environment and as well I save a lot of money instead of buying like daily mm -hmm. plastic bottles mm -hmm. and uh, because in, we're in Bali I love drinking coconuts and I always call my coconut guys to to make me deliver coconut and I always pay 1k for one coconut with free delivery. 10k. 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 <laughs> what did I say? 1k. 1K. <laughs> That's a good deal. <laughs> I always spend 10k for one coconut and the delivery is for free so I totally recommend to call you this number uh, with my delivery guy. For me, I just bought the 2 liters uh, water bottle and I refill it in the gym because it's <laughs> <laughs> I refill it in the gym. <laughs> Because I don't have like the gallon in my place, in my mm. housing, so yeah, I always refill it in the gym. That's such a great thing to do though. Yeah. Yeah. So I think uh, for me, like every single place I've been, they have like the, the 19, 20 liter, like the gallon one. Um, and it's part of the price like I think now is the first time that I've actually had to think about like not having that so right now we're just uh, boiling the water but we're gonna look into getting the, the gallon one because it's uh, yeah it's it's worth it it's a lifesaver honestly yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, so now we're gonna talk about more of the site activities. There's no hiding it that if you're here in Bali, Indonesia, and especially in the south southern part around Changu, Kuta, anywhere around here, you're going to go to a club or a bar and there's gonna be some extra expenses there. So, Sarah, she's a, pro <laughs> she's a professional. <laughs> Tell us about the prices. <laughs> Me and Matt, we are very professional. So every Wednesday go to Shishi because it's free for girls, dinner and drinks. <laughs> yeah, for guy I think it's 250 for dinner and drink and for just drink is 150 for a guy. Like usually a Bintang I would say that it costs around like 40k in bars. Like how much does it usually cost Bintang in bar is like 50 50. Yeah, but like in the beach club, like if you go to the beach, yeah. it's 35, 30, yeah. 35, 40, something, yeah. somewhere around there. Yeah, that's the kind of yeah. range for Bintan, which is the local beer. Otherwise, if you like go clubbing or like you want to go for more like cocktail vibes, the prices may vary between 80k until 200 plus. Yeah, it's so like this weekend, like I spent like, I went to the club like Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Oh my god. <laughs> On oh, Thursday, <laughs> Thursday, back to back, I spent like 1.2 million, like wow! <laughs> Hire her as an accountant right now. <laughs> so for our conclusion, when it comes to extra expenses when you're living here in Bali, Indonesia, and you can mostly choose yourself what it is going to be like because it depends a lot on the area and if you're going local and you're going to more like Western or what kind of quality do you want with it. So I would say it depends, like you can make it really cheap, but if you're also not watching out, you can also, I think, get scammed a lot. <laughs> if you go to more expensive places where you pay a lot of tax and everything. So yeah. Yeah, yeah, I agree. So what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> my brain was like, this is like... <laughs> Yeah, 
I think that Bali, basically, you can really spend any type of money. If you want to go for cheap things, you can go for it. If you want to have expensive prices, go for it. Like there is a wide range, and depending on your kind of lifestyle, you can be, you can choose between like cheap or more like luxurious. Um, something also to remember that I think we didn't talk about is that when you go to a restaurant, and uh, there is always a uh, five percent plus ten percent taxes, and usually it's not always included in the price. So this is also something you want to consider in case you choose to go to more like a restaurant like in luxury, luxury style oh and some beach club has like you have to pay for get in but some beach club you only need to just buy the drink and food to mm. get in so yeah yeah that's true and sometimes it also depends on the day like if it's really busy and stuff so yeah, yeah. Obviously there are a lot of promo tools, so always check us on Instagram, there is the page Bali Promo maybe, where you can see which day uh, the things are undiscounted or not. And mm. also Bali Badass. Bali yeah. Badass. Yeah, that's the Instagram for the promo. Oh, they fun. always post it every yeah. day. That's it for all extra expenses from Changu. I hope you enjoy and I hope you will learn something new. And remember to subscribe, put like and turn on the notification bell to don't miss any Sunday release. So again, I was here with Ole and Nat and I will see you next weekend. Bye bye. See you guys.